That's all you got. One rep. We'll find a way to win. Always have a game-ready mindset. We will find a way to compete. Always be on. Always be up. We will find a way through it. If you stay ready, you won't have to get ready. Good to gain just a rebound on, you know, and bounce back as a team and, and as individuals too. You know, several players who just had better performances and better execution, but overall team play. Uh, 40 to nothing, the shutout was pivotal. Our defense did a great job in other areas of offense and uh, special teams as well to keep them off the scoreboard, but um, just sound football. We didn't give up big plays, uh, stifled them in, that, in those terms, uh, picked up three turnovers, one that scored. Another one set up a score right before halftime, and then offense produced a lot. You know, 189 yards rushing, over 300 passing, and you know we'd like to cut out the turnovers that we had and some of the penalties. So there's always room for improvement, team-wise, and there's still room for improvement individual-wise. There's a lot, you know, on defense. Souter had a great game, and Austin Shope filled in at Mike linebacker this week and, and did a good job. Our defensive line played solid. They didn't have any sacks or tackle for losses, but just you know, held, held firm in the running game. Uh, you look at it on that side. And then on the offensive side, Everett Pollard, you know, he did, he did a great job coming back and having a good week, uh, good execution. A couple plays got away from him. Um, Mike Miller, excellent, excellent day. And, uh, and our running backs, our offensive line. You know, so I, I could mention many, many guys. On special teams, we were pretty solid. We made some mistakes that need to be improved, but uh, pretty solid, not big plays, but we handled the ball, got the ball back to the offense on a day like that with field position and offensive production, that was important. It's, a, it's all about getting better. You know, uh, we got to do better with the football and not turn it over. We got to cut down on penalties, cut down on big plays. You know, we got to kind of go back. The things that we did this week that were good, we got to build on. They don't come back automatically just because you did it once or did it in that period, you got to build on it. And we got to get better uh, team-wise and, and position by position. Uh, traveling, the template, it's a little different. We got a morning game, but really the template doesn't change when it's kickoff time. The template's a little different, you know, pregame and some things that are getting condensed. But once, it, once it's time to play, and the nearer we get to kickoff, things don't change. You got to play team ball and fundamental. They're athletic and they've got good size across the board and a uh, good sound team. You know, if they come together with their schemes and, and keep competing, which we expect them to do, we expect them to be better weekly, you know, than, than they were other weeks, and we look for a battle. It's going to be do more of the same. Cut down on big plays, uh, you know, be great on ball hawking on defense, coming up with turnovers. But one thing on offense is we've had a good mix, a mix of run and pass and a mix of guys who've handled the ball and been productive. So. Those, those are some of the key elements. We'd like more out of our special teams. You know, we're due to make some bigger plays and uh, opportunities that are, that are in place for us on special teams. But in addition to that, we need to be just sound on special teams in terms of how we handle the ball, get it back to the offense, and how we contain and tackle and defend. So uh, we're looking for big plays there, but we're, we like kind of the steadiness that we've got too in terms of getting the ball back to the offense and containing on, on field position on special teams. Most of those are on an individual basis, you know, the guys who may be pulled out of some practices just or, or limited time, modified workouts, that kind of thing. But I'm really proud of the depth on our team and this roster and where guys have stepped in into pivotal roles. We've had some guys who step in midweek to late week. It, we haven't had a whole week to know that they've got to step on the field and, and produce. And so in addition to that, we just keep growing the depth on the roster. So it's that time of year, and each team faces it. I'm really proud of how our guys have faced it. We've had some experience with this in off season and last season with some of the injuries, but we just get, keep getting deeper and deeper and getting better and better. Absolutely. We've seen that every year, and uh, this year is no different. Um, we've seen it at the beginning of the year too, but it, it continues week by week. What we'll do some weeks, we might take a day off on lifting. We lift four times a week, you know, which may be a little different and unusual for some collegiate programs. And there'll, there'll be weeks where we may trim it back to three days. But uh, our guys have done good hard work in the weight room. They've stayed healthy, and they're getting stronger every week. Yeah, as we look ahead, playoff time here in Indiana is going to start real soon, and those are key games and key opportunities to get out and see teams play. And when we're home, especially when we're playing a night game, uh, we get out on the night before and uh, we're having guys in to visit. So, so that's rolling along. These couple weeks we're on the road, 
there's not as much action you know, on the weekend, but we're excited for the games we have ahead, getting guys on our campus to see us play, see our great facility, you know, just all of it, the crowds we've had, the student body. Um, so there's a lot of positive things there and, and things are beginning to accelerate. We don't want to think right now about the seniors, you know, the 14 of them that are going to leave us and the, and the places we got to fill in, but we'll probably bring in a class of 20, maybe 20 or a few more. Uh, we don't have large classes, but they've got to be quality classes and build on what we currently have.